to see you, honey. Uh -huh. You know, um, I want, I've been wanting to ask you something for a long what time. What is that, Paul? You, you know the stuff that we do at the beginning of the show, the banter back and forth? Yes, our little uh, chatting exchanger. Yeah. Uh -huh. how, much of, how much of that is written? Oh, all of it, down to every last period. That's what I thought. I always knew that was, I always knew it was written. How are you doing? Paul, I don't strike you as an ingrate, do I? No, absolutely not. Do I strike you as a crank, a cynic? No. Well, <laughs> certainly not a cynic. Well, let me just, let me just uh, tell you a little something that happened to me in the last 24 hours, and, and we'll see Please what you do. think. Uh, we, we're on the, the NBC television network here. Uh, NBC, National Broadcasting Company. Corporation. Yeah, whatever. They've so been nice. in business forever. I've had an association with NBC since 1977, 1978. You've That's been right. here how long? I've been here seven and a half. Well, no, I've been here, including That's Saturday Night Live, 15 right. years. So the two of us, we represent a long time here at two this Two lifetimes network. with NBC. Well, it just so happens that today kicks off the, kicks off the week-long birthday gala celebration for me. I'm having a birthday this week. So we understand. That's right. I'll be 42 on Wednesday, and none of this is all that important. So I can't tell you how excited I am. Today, I received my gift from NBC. Ah, what was the... Uh... I have it right here. Let's see what they gave you for your 42nd birthday. <laughs> what, uh, what exactly is that? What is it? We, we're not sure. We, I thought, you know, for, for a while, we think maybe they thought I had a monkey, and they said, well, we'll get him a hat for his monkey. And, but that's it. It's, uh, it's this. It's, it's a, this uh, lovely, lovely all-purpose gift item. <laughs> And, and to me, it says, happy 42nd, Dave. <laughs> well, I thank God for the Home Shopping Network. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm touched. <laughs> I, I, I can see that. <laughs> what do you do? Like mints? Paper clips? It's a, it's a it's what, Bill? A oh, thank God, it's a coaster. Now I feel 100% better. Bill knows what it is. It's a practice puck. <laughs> well, it will certainly uh, uh, find a place of honor in my home. You're 42, Dave. Here's a coaster. I must be doing something right. Uh, let's do our uh, viewer mail. This is actual uh, viewer mail, ladies and gentlemen. These are actual letters from... Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I'll bet Dave needs a coaster. Letter number one. Uh, dear Dave, do you and Paul ever find yourselves without something to do at 12.30 a.m.? Just wondering, John and Doug Sunshine, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, look, Paul is from the Sunshine Boys. Don and Doug. John and Doug. Uh, do we ever find ourselves without something to do at 12.30 a.m. when the show is being aired? Uh, no. Uh, we often find ourselves without something to do at 5.30 p.m. when the show is being taped. <laughs> Oh, we have snacks if you get a little hungry later. Thank you. In the birthday coaster. I bet that's what Michael Landon got for his birthday, too. Uh, dear Dave, uh, do you pay people to sit in your audience, or do they actually waste precious minutes of their life coming on their own? Shane Woodward, uh, Barry, Massachusetts. Well, believe me, Shane, we realize how precious our viewers' time is, and we are grateful for the laughter and applause which they give up so freely. And, and that's why we're happy to let them know exactly how much of their lives is being wasted with this giant clock. How could we get a shot of the big clock that sure. lets them know just how close they are to the end? There it is, right there. Kind of a cheerful little item. That's about an $8 item. Letter number three. Uh, dear Mr. Letterman, greetings from the Harvard University Band. I personally would like to say that I am a great fan of yours and never miss a show, parentheses, well, almost never. Uh, Jim Nicklaus, uh, class of 90, drill master, Harvard University, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Oh, boy, Harvard. 
Wow, my old alma mater. Geez, I, I can remember my days there on campus like it was yesterday. Dave? What a wonderful time. Dave? What? Excuse eh? me? What? Well, you know, you get to do so many flashbacks, and I've never even done one, so couldn't I have this one? Well, no, of course. You, I'm just about to start a flashback. You can't do this. You've never done one by yourself. You wouldn't know what to do. No. Yeah, no. I, if you want to, you can join me in this one, but you're not ready to do one by yourself. I really think I could handle it by myself. What? You know? I can do it by myself. Really? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah, I can do it. The whole flashback? I'm pretty sure I can. All right, all yeah. right, but be careful, Anton. Well, thanks a lot, Dave. Oh, Harvard, my old alma mater. I remember my days there as if it was only yesterday. <laughs> I never worked so hard in my life, but somehow I found the time to fall in love. Everything would have been fine if that stupid pizza delivery guy hadn't gotten in the way. I didn't mean to kill him. I can't stand clumsiness. The cops would have got me for sure, but a fleet of flying saucers appeared, whisking me away to their distant planet, where I was crowned as their king. Dave! Dave, I can't figure out how to end this flashback. Get me out of here. Help! Help! Oh, Dave. Yeah. Oh, God, you were right. I, I, was, I was in way over my head. Well, I thought maybe that would happen. That's, that's okay, but we all have to learn that lesson for ourselves. Yeah. He's been way over his head on the flashback. <laughs> I can, I can hardly wait till I turn 43. What's then? A ballpoint pen? <laughs> now, here's this, 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 Letter number four. Dear Dave, uh, dear sir, I believe while trying to remain aloof and detached, Mr. Letterman has become starved for affection and is in sorry need of a hug. Uh, sincerely, uh, sincerely, Hillary L. Hoo-ha. <laughs> well, Ms. Hoo-ha, you're right. I, frankly, have been under a lot of pressure lately, and I guess, sure, yeah, I, I can certainly use a hug. Why not? What would you know? Well, how hard, you know, Paul? I've been thinking, I've been so insensitive, yeah. thinking only of myself and ignoring your needs. Oh. Come here, you big oh. hunk of veal. Come on. Come on, you so wanna... Thank you. That's very nice of you. Gosh, I feel great. Well, hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Mr. Letterman? Yes? I think you're awful nice. Oh, well, thank you very Can much. Can I give you a hug, too? Oh, sure. That'd be great. Oh, Aww. there. I feel much better now. That's I wonderful. Know. Thank you, honey. Well, you know, you know something? Here we are already feeling so warm. And out uh -huh. of the blue, a big furry teddy Look bear wanders oh, in. Oh, boy, that's and great. And he gives us a hug, too. That was great. That's very nice. Thank you very much, everybody. I, you know, I think I, I feel so much better, and I think that really generally restores faith in mankind for me and I think everybody else. Boy, I'll say it does. Just think how great the world would be if we could just oh, yeah. tap into exactly. love. Exactly. That would be I've perfect. A... What a, what's hey, a, wait a second. What's the matter? My wallet's gone. Huh? It's gone. My wallet is gone. Oh, crap. So is mine. Oh, no. What the hell? Hey, look at that. That damn table. Are those punks? There they go. Get them. Boy, that stinks. That's terrible. Yeah. Can't be too careful. You can't be too careful. No. I'll be over here. You'll be over there. Yeah. All right. We have a uh, great show. Kelly McGillis is here, the B experts, and also Bonnie Raitt. Come on back if you can. <laughs> exotic poultry. Yeah. Uh, last year, this network, NBC, made a profit of over $800 billion. $800 billion. And this particular program was responsible for earning about half of that. <laughs> now, that's the truth. So when Brandon Tartikoff, the president of NBC Entertainment, if you can call it that, sent me a birthday gift that seemed a little uh, inexpensive, I thought it would be a good idea to get a second opinion. 
Hi, uh, this gentleman is uh, Jamie Ross. Tell the folks what you do for a living. Well, we buy and sell precious metals. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had a birthday. It's not important how old I am, but I had a birthday. By the way, how old do you think I am? 45. Do I look 45 to you? Uh, you look about 45, oh, I'd say. Oh, Christ. Well, let's go back to the office. Uh, anyway, so NBC sent me a gift because it was my birthday. Uh, and unless I'm completely wrong about this, I think what they sent me was a piece of junk. So I'm here um, just to kind of set the record straight and, and evaluate the gift that they gave me. Here it is. Get ready. And maybe we could, as I produce this, we can add some uh, kind of a, a lovely uh, uh, dramatic crescendo. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Junk. Well, we, we weren't even sure what it was. We thought perhaps if I had a monkey and an organ, it'd be a lovely hat for my monkey. Uh, but anyway, here it is. It's got a little felt uh, bottom on it. And, um, it's like plastic of some sort. Most bottoms should be felt, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that camera? Are you doing your own show? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Another thing about camera security over there. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you going to do now? We're going to do a scratch a bit of it off, and we're going to put a little bit of nitric acid on it. Gosh, I hope you don't ruin it. <laughs> well, just from scratching, I can tell you that I don't think it's silver. I really doubt very much they spent much more than $10, and if you like, we could do is melt it into a little button. Oh, can you do that? Oh, sure. Yeah, take it apart. Okay, so now we're going to dismantle the item. Hi, how are you? Okay, this is Doran. Nice Duran, to see you. David. I'd like to see that Leonard fight happen. <laughs> <laughs> As if it were. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, it's my birthday gift. <laughs> well, so far so good. Man, that's top quality scrap lumber right there. <laughs> you couldn't help me with a couple of cuticles I'm having trouble with, could you? Mm -hmm. Did you ever work at Burger King? <laughs> oh, flame broiling, you know. <laughs> oh, that's there's my birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> Do it every time. I love that joke. Excuse me, Mr. Aaronman. Yeah. Hi, my name is uh, Dave Letterman. By the way, how old a man do you think I am? In your fifties. <laughs> All right. So anyway, what we want to do is engrave something and put it on there. Can you do that for no us? No problem. Okay, great. great. What do you want engraved? Uh, it should be to Brandon. Love, Dave. Okay. We're more than tripling the value of the initial gift by adding the engraving to it. Wow. You see that, Carl? It's better now than when we started. Yeah, absolutely. I have a, a birthday gift here that was given to me from uh, Brandon Tartikoff. How old a man do you think I am, by the way? I just, I just had a birthday. About 35? Yeah, that's about it. Just about 35. <laughs> uh, so there's the gift. We need a box. Brandon yeah, that's, that's all right. Two Brandon love days. Okay. Yeah, okay. And, and a little bag. That's good. How much do we owe you for this? $3 and your piece of jewelry is in the bag. There you are. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Piece of jewelry. See, we've elevated it now to from a piece of crap a piece to a piece of, of jewelry. Piece Thank you box. very much, Tracy. Nice Bye meeting bye. you. Have a good week. Thank you. <laughs> so we have it in here. We're going to mail this to uh, Brandon Tartikoff. It's gone. It's gone. I don't know. It's been stolen. Where is the lovely piece of, uh... huh? What? Oh, there's hysteria taking place back there now. Gaines, where is it? What? Huh? It's gone. Where it fell out of... Oh, thank God, it's back. Barbara Gaines, ladies and gentlemen. Did you... Send that to Brandon. All right, we have to do a, a commercial. Exotic poultry next. Don't go to bed.